In this video, we're going to be talking about the tree pose, which is Rakasana, and that's page 65 in the book. So I'm going to do this on my right leg um, to start with. So one of the most important things about tree pose or any balancing position is that you're actually engaging your glutes to try and stabilize your pelvis. So what we're trying not to do is lift a leg and then sink out into the hip over there. So as soon as you start coming into balance, just take your time with lifting a leg and then getting everything activated so that the pelvis is nice and stable. So we're not sinking into this joint, we're, act we're actively engaging that part of the leg. So uh, for beginners or people that have dodgy balance, so you know there could be issues with the feet, maybe they've hurt their ankles before, just as we get older the balance um, deteriorates. So someone might be able to just have their foot on the floor next to there, so that might be their tree position, or on the foot, and they can work up the leg, so in that position there. The only place you don't want to be putting your foot is onto the inside of the knee over there, because your knee is not designed to be going out to the side, so if, they, if that is the region that someone wants to put their foot, then just get them to hook around the front of the leg, and then you can work up the leg into that position. So. With the tree, we want to try and open up this hip as well. So for sometimes people have their knees over there. Again, it's going to depend on hip um, flexibility, people's hip um, you know, flexibility, mobility that they've got there. And then we can have your hands in different positions. So I have a play with the hand position. Sometimes I like it in prayer. So if you gently squeeze your hands together, pull the shoulders back, let them slide down your back. You can have it there. You can have into this guy mudra, and you can play with the fingers. And if you ever play with the fingers, sometimes you can feel the integrity come down through the arms. So really push into the fingers there, or you can have hands up towards the ceiling. Whoops. So hands up towards the ceiling. I like to really stretch up and reach so that you create this length in the body. Because often what you'll get when you're in a tree. Is a little bit of collapsing on the side, so people want to lift the rib cage. Whoops! <laughs> and then we come into the tree pose there. Really good for strengthening the glutes over there. My legs burning. Um, all those muscles in there: your calves, your ankles. So if I'm teaching, I normally say to people, choose your better balancing leg first, unless I'm doing the tree in a flow or something like that. But I say, choose your better balancing leg first, so we can work on the technique. And then we go to the other leg second, because one leg is going to be different than the other leg. Um, so that is tree pose. I'm just thinking anything else you want to add. You could, if someone's got really good balance, you could challenge them by saying, close your eyes. There's always some way that you can offer a bit more challenge to people that uh, maybe need it. Um, and then there's always ways you can take it back down again. So it's try and encourage your class to not have any egos. It really doesn't matter if the leg is up there or down there. Um, it's what suits that person. So that's tree pose, page 65. 